question mark epigen. It takes time for your body to make new red blood cells and raise your hemoglobin, Hb, level. With epigen treatments, Hb levels usually increase in two to six weeks. Your doctor will test your blood regularly question mark at least weekly at the beginning of your treatment to make sure epigen is working. The test will measure your Hb or your hematocrit, hematocrit, levels, though most doctors measure Hb because it is a better way to check for anemia. Your doctor will determine the right Hb level for you and prescribe the smallest dose of epigen required to reduce your need for blood transfusions. Epigen may be prescribed when your Hb level is less than 10 g 2. Throughout your epigen treatments, your doctor will also check your iron levels because iron helps your red blood cells carry oxygen. The majority of patients taking epigen for their anemia require iron therapy. Important safety information about epigen. Indication. Epigen is a prescription medicine used to treat a lower than normal number of red blood cells. Anemia caused by chronic kidney disease in patients on dialysis to reduce or avoid the need for red blood cell transfusions. Epigen should not be used in place of emergency treatment for anemia, red blood cell transfusions. Epigen has not been proven to improve quality of life, fatigue, or well-being. Important safety information. Epigen may cause serious side effects that can lead to death, including for people with cancer, in patients with breast non-small cell lung, head and neck, lymphoid, and cervical cancers. Your tumor may grow faster and you may die sooner if you choose to take epigen. Your health care provider has received special training in order to prescribe epigen and will talk with you in detail about these risks. For all people who take epigen, including people with cancer or chronic kidney disease, serious heart problems, such as heart attack or heart failure, and stroke, you may die sooner if you're treated with epigen to increase red blood cells. RBCS, to near the same level found in healthy people. Blood clots. Blood clots may happen at any time while taking epigen. If you're receiving epigen for any reason and are going to have surgery, talk with your healthcare. Question mark provider about whether you need to take a blood thinner to lessen the chance of blood clots during or following surgery. Call your health care provider or get medical help right away if you have any of these symptoms. Chest pain. Trouble breathing or shortness of breath. Pain or swelling in your legs. A cool or pale arm or leg. Sudden confusion. Trouble speaking or trouble understanding other speech. Sudden numbness or weakness in your face, arm or leg, especially on one side of your body. Sudden trouble seeing. Sudden trouble walking. Dizziness loss of balance or coordination loss of consciousness, hemodialysis vascular access stops working. If you decide to take epigen, your health care provider should prescribe the smallest dose that is necessary to reduce your chance of needing RBC transfusions. If your hemoglobin level stays too high or goes up too quickly, this may lead to serious health problems which may result in death. These serious health problems may happen if you take epigen even if you do not have an increase in your hemoglobin level. Do not take epigen if I do. have cancer and have not been counselled by your health care provider about frefinant with epigen. Have high blood pressure that is not controlled, uncontrolled hypertension. Have been told by your health care provider that you have, or have ever had a of anemia called pure red cell aplasia, PRC, that starts after treatment with epigen or other erythropoietin medicines have had a serious allergic reaction to epigen. Pregnant women, breastfeeding women, and babies should not receive epigen from multi-dose files. Question mark before taking epigen, tell your doctor if you have heart disease, have high blood pressure, have had a seizure or stroke, or if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, or plan to become pregnant or breastfeed. Epigen may cause other serious side effects. High blood pressure. High blood pressure is a common side effect of epigen in patients with chronic kidney disease. Your blood pressure may go up or be difficult to control with blood pressure medication while taking epigen. This can happen even if you have never had high blood pressure before. Your health care provider should check your blood pressure often. Seizures. If you have seizures while taking epigen, get medical help right away and tell your health care provider. Antibodies to epigen. 
Your body may make antibodies to epigen that can block or lessen your body's ability to make RBCS and cause you to have severe anemia. Call your healthcare provider if you have unusual tiredness, lack of energy, dizziness, or fainting. You may need to stop taking epigen. Serious allergic reactions. Serious allergic reactions can cause a rash over your whole body, shortness of breath, wheezing, dizziness and fainting due to a drop in blood pressure, swelling around your mouth or eyes, fast pulse, or sweating. If you have a serious allergic reaction, stop using Epigen and call your health care provider or get medical help right away. Common side effects of Epigen include joint, muscle, or bone pain, vomiting, soreness of mouth, fever itching, cough headache, rash redness and pain in the skin where epigen shots were nausea given. These are not all the possible side effects of epigen. Tell your health care provider about any side effects that bother you or do not go away.